Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about arithmetic means. What is an arithmetic mean? Arithmetic means are the terms between any two non-consecutive terms of an arithmetic sequence. When you say non-consecutive terms, ito yung mga terms na hindi magkakatabi or hindi magkakasunod. Example, 32 lang lang 41. Where are the arithmetic means? Example number 2. Where are the arithmetic means in the sequence 2, blank, 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 10? So the arithmetic means are located here, then, and the third mean. How do we look for arithmetic means? Since there is no consecutive term, you have to use the arithmetic sequence formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d to solve for the common difference. What are the arithmetic means of the sequence 32 blank blank 41? Notice na ang available terms lang natin ay a sub 1 and a sub 4. So in the formula that we are going to use, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d, yung a sub n, which is this part, ay papalitan natin ng a sub 4. So maliging a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So your a sub 4 now, value niya will be 41, then your first term will be equal to 32, and then your n will be coming from the 4 beside a. And then your common difference, hindi natin yan alam, so hindi natin siya babaguhin. So let's solve. Thirty-two blank blank forty-one. So let's find the arithmetic means. So using the formula, a sub four will be replaced by forty-one. A sub one will be replaced by thirty-two plus four minus one times d. So saan ang galing yung four natin? Ito siya galing. Forty-one is our a sub four. So ito siya. Then, yung 32 saan galing? Dito sa first term, a sub 1. And then, 4 minus 1, that will give us 3 times d equal to 3d. Okay, next step is for you to combine all similar terms. So, since si 32 at si 41 ang parehong similar terms dahil parehong silang whole number, transpose 32 sa tabi ni 41. So, positive naman dito si 41, si 32 ay positive din. So, since si 32 yung ililipat natin papunta sa tabi ni 41, we are going to change the sign of 32. So, magiging negative, uh, negative 32 plus 41 or 41 minus 32 equals 3D. Okay, next step is... Subtract 41 and 32, so you will get 9, and then divide both sides by 3 para maiwan na lang si D or the common difference. So 3 divided by 3 will be equal to D, and then 9 divided by 3 will be equal to positive 3. So the common difference here is positive 3. Now to ating um, problem earlier, what, uh, what is the first mean and what's the second mean? We're going to use the common difference. So since sabi ng common difference natin, you're going to add 3. So from 32 plus 3, that will give us 35. And then, dagdagan ulit natin ng 3 plus 3 will give us 38. And to check, 38 plus 3 is equal to 41. 
Another example. What are the arithmetic means? So, in this given sequence, meron lang tayong available na A sub 1 and A sub 5. Nawawala yung ating first, second, and then third mean. Sorry, dapat this is third mean. Okay? So, using the formula, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Papalitan natin yung A sub n natin ng A sub 5. Okay, kasi yun ang ating last term. So, formula will be A sub 5 is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So, to solve, so your A sub 5 will be replaced by 10. Yan ang last term natin. A sub 1 is your first term, that's 2. And yung 5, saan tumang gagaling? Dito. This is your n. And then, solve nyo yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, next step will be uh, 10 is equal to 2 plus 4d. So, yung 4d saan galing? From 5 minus 1 times d. Okay, next is itong positive 2, i-transpose natin sa kabila. Change the sign. So, magiging 10 minus 2 is equal to 4d. Subtract 10 minus 2, that will give us 8, equals 4d. Divide both sides by 4 para maiwan si d. So, 4 divided by 4 is d. 8 divided by 4 is positive 2. So, that means our common difference is positive 2. So, yung problem natin, Using the common difference positive 2, so 2 plus 2 lang will give us 4, 4 plus 2 will give us 6, 6 plus 2 will give us 8, then 8 plus 2 will give us 10. So, saktong-sakto yung answer natin and that's correct. Additional information. How do we look for arithmetic means? Now, this is one technique. If the term that you are looking for is the middle term, you can just add the first and last term and divide by 2. So, itong technique na to, gagamitin mo lang kung may middle term or yung merong nasa pinakagitna. Okay, that's up our example. Gamitin natin yung previous terms. What are the arithmetic means? So, una, hanapin natin yung pinakagitna. That's the second mean. So, to find this, we just add 2 and 10. Tapos, i-divide mo by 2. So, 2 plus 10 is 12. 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. So, not, let's look for the first term. Yung nasa gitna ng 2 and 6. So, this time, you add 2 and 6. You get 8. Then, divide by 2. Answer is 4. So, nood naman natin gamitin is yung second mean and the last term, 10. Sorry, third mean to ah. Okay. So, 6 plus 10, that will give us 16, divided by 2, will give us 8. Okay, so, pareho pa rin yung answer natin earlier. I hope we learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwede naman ulitin panoorin ng video. And don't forget to practice, 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 but my time.